So first I'd like to start by uh, congratulating everybody on furthering their education, uh, looking to have a better life, and looking to have a successful life with more opportunities ahead of you. But when we, when we look at it, what about the ones who aren't furthering their education, going to college, and trying to be beneficial with their sources and everything around them? Um, when coming to find my argument, I went, this last uh, break that we had, I was talking to some friends, and most of them, after high school, they didn't want to go to junior colleges, they didn't, they didn't think about going to college, they went right into labor. So I was talking to them, and they said, man, I wish I would have gone to school. Uh, I don't like working, um, I'm working every day, and I wish I would have continued my education. So this is why I'm here to say, students need to further their education after high school, so they have a better and more successful life. We are going to look at the benefits of furthering your education, um, why, why students aren't doing it, what's stopping them, and how it can be solved. When looking at the benefits of furthering your education, we can look at your skill set, your bettering it, we can look at your opportunities, your opportunities open up a whole bunch more, and we can look at the end outcome of your job and your wage, which is what everybody wants in the, in the end. And this is said by uh, US News. The skills, the skills that one acquires from better, or furthering their education is uh, organization, uh, time management, we're walking to class, we're doing other things, uh, we're creative, we're thinking creatively, we're uh, bettering our mind, we're becoming more creative with our things. Uh, we're learning how to conversate, for example, this class. Uh, if I were to look back three months ago, I would not be able to talk to you guys like how I am right now, because I would be super shy. And teamwork, we are learning how to work with others and how to kind of like compromise how they are. So with these, with the skills, it trickles down to giving you better opportunities and higher chances with success. Uh, we can look at opportunities as if um, better jobs. Uh, when we further educate ourselves and we try and get a better job, uh, we can throw out there that we're from Fresno State. Uh, that tells us that we're bettering ourselves for further education and we're looking for kind of like more like to fill yourself with more, what's that word? Um, knowledge, I guess you could say, yeah, knowledge. And, and maybe when, as we're doing this, we can maybe transfer to another school that can open more opportunities to us that has a higher success rate and get a better uh, life out of it. And one of the biggest reasons for uh, furthering education is uh, economics reasons, economic reasons. Comparing two sources, CNN and Smartest Set, the college student almost makes double the amount of income than a student who just has a high school diploma. And when we look at that, isn't that what we all want? We kind of like what he said, sorry. But money, don't we kind of want money? Uh, we won't want to be living from paycheck to paycheck. We don't want to have to worry about bills. We don't want to have to worry about all the things we have to buy. We want to have a better life and have our own income to live so happily instead of than what a high, a high school diploma can do. Very beneficial. Um, so why aren't those people getting a better life? Why aren't they able to further their education? Uh, we see this because it can often be too much and the income of those just don't meet up to how much they have to pay. Uh, we can look at high school grades, how they did in high school, and maybe they just weren't, they were indecisive and never put thought into their future. So students can't go to college because it's too much, and maybe if they don't have anything good on them, their parents can't afford it, meaning that they have no income. So uh, a source named Higher Education says 40% of extensive students uh, who are in low income uh, classes or like are in, in low income, never showed up the next fall to start their schooling. 
Um, we also see that with it too much, they never got their counseling in high school, meaning that they never got on top of scholarships, that some people usually get many scholarships and go to college for free. So they probably never got that or never heard about that. Um, high school grades. High school students tend to give up, kind of like, I kind of have a couple close friends that gave up their senior year because their grades just weren't right and they were saying, oh, my grades are terrible, I'm not even gonna try it, I'm just gonna go work. But they, we can see that their grades are affecting them because they give up and they can't even get into college, which is probably a big reason why some people don't get into college. What some, the universities, um, D2s, uh, junior, not junior college, all of those, their grades aren't good enough so that they can even get in. So, and most of them don't even think about junior colleges. And we'll get into that later. Last, students don't get to further education because they were never helped in high school and they were never given advice on how to, on what to do with their life. They, they're indecisive. How to fix this? How can we fix it? Most students that I know, or most people that I know in high school, knew in high school, they didn't even think about junior college because they had put too much effort into their schooling that they didn't want to go to a junior college that is very like depicted as a, like, oh, that's bad. Um, why junior college is perfect is because uh, grades don't affect you. If you have bad grades in high school, let's say you have a 2.6, um, going to junior college, you can get in there by just paying for your classes. <coughs> Basically, you're educating yourself, so you're getting yourself uh, into like a better system with yourself, bettering yourself. Um, also, us college students, what can we do to help this? We can go to our local high schools, and we can encourage them, we can guide them, and we can help them um, think of what their future will look like if they decide to further their education. In conclusion, when looking at the benefits of furthering education, we see a lot of great things, but this can't happen without us going out there and helping them, without other people going out and helping them. So it really relies on how you connect with one another that can better their life. So one last thing I'm gonna leave you guys with is go out there, encourage, and better lives. Thank you.